Well, um, welcome to uh, Swiss Rails in Alabama. We're going to uh, take a little journey. And um, hey there. Um, first of all, I'm not uh, versed at making videos. It's the first time uh, to do something like this. But I thought it would be um, useful to uh, provide some information surrounding the uh, Markland Central Station and the new um, ability within the last few months that Markland has made available the um, application um, on the App Store that you can download and use on your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod. Uh, it gives you the, the full control and of your central station uh, wirelessly, uh, something that we've not uh, been able to do uh, prior to this. So let me kind of show you the components of the system. Um, first of all, let me open my drawer here. Um, sorry about the video. I'm using my iPhone. This is the uh, Markland Digital Central Station. I'm using the older uh, 60213, but it has been uh, updated to the latest software version uh, 1.5.2. The other item that you'll need uh, would be the iPod, iPhone, or the iPad. Um, what I elected to do was to um, download the software to my um, iPad because, um, well, I have a lot of gray hair. I'm getting older and I don't see as well as I used to. So um, having the, uh, the bigger picture uh, makes it uh, better for me to operate. <clears throat> and with the simple, there's a little button on the iPad that allows you to go back to uh, one times and then you can double the size of it. So uh, for me, the double size uh, works real well. The other item that you will need, or and, and what I decided to use, was the um, a, I had an old Apple base station that uh, I used uh, to create a wireless network um, just in my train room. Um, this is not um, connected to the internet, um, so it's only used here in, in my train room. And so um, I have an ethernet wire going from one of the outputs on the base station um, to the um, ethernet uh, input uh, input on the uh, Markland Central Station. So um, basically once that was connected uh, and I took care of some business on the Central Station and the iPad related to the um, IP address. Uh, I found that the IP address on the uh, uh, iPad and the IP address on the uh, Markland Central Station needs to be the same um, so that uh, the way to do that is to go to your um, iPad and um, just simply go to your settings and click on your Wi-Fi network choose your network that you would create for your train room. I titled mine Swiss Rails in Alabama and click on the little blue button and it will show you the IP address. So once I was able to determine that I entered that same number um, into my sorry about the camera moving I'll try to show you on my central station uh, click set up and click the wrench button tap that again and uh, scroll over until you see IP uh, you would need to have this on automatic DHCP but in order to enter the IP address you would need to click manual and then tap the screen on what you want to change once you've um, linked or put in the exact IP address that's on your iPad then select automatic once again and click um, save 
and at which point the two systems should be uh, linked together and what happens whatever you do on the central station is reflected on the iPad what you do on the iPad is reflected on the central station um, so we'll go back to the iPad I will scroll back over to the app okay um, you uh, can control your locomotives as well as bring up the keyboard and you can see that I have all of the switches that are in my central station as well as uh, block signals and then over um, I can control the lighting system on my layout uh, as well uh, just by clicking on the buttons and that should turn them on and off okay and let's see let's go to info okay very good all right click OK we'll turn the system on so you can see that you can turn the system on by either turning it on at the central station or turning it on and off on your iPad so you just have full control so here I can turn lights on and off. Uh, I also have the Uhlenbrock uh, lighting system and I have it also on my central station so I can control its functions. Alright, so just a little demonstration. We'll go to the control. Okay. And we're looking at this locomotive here, so I can make him work. Blow the whistle. Stop. Change directions. Stop again. We can turn the lights and the sound off. Okay. So it works fantastic, the, having the ability to uh, walk around uh, while the trains are running and control multiple locomotives at the same time is great. It, it you know, gives you a lot of um, freedom. Um, one of the other things that um, is nice uh, in terms of the, um, being able to select your locomotives is uh, you can either scroll through the screen I think that it will display up to um, uh, 12 uh, just by doing this if you have more locomotives like I do uh, if you just tap on the icon then it brings up all of your locomotives on the central station and you can simply scroll to find the one that you want to control I'll select this um, RE460 and you can see that it appears on the screen and if you'll see this is the locomotive here uh, it will begin to run so it's as easy as that okay change directions just like we did with the other locomotive and stop and then if you want to go back to the locomotive you were controlling it's the same way you can scroll through the screen this way until you find it um, and there it is there or you could tap the icon and find it this way and that is uh, is pretty much it now I did speak with the people from Markland uh, yesterday and they are beta testing um, uh, the pages uh, for your layout that you can create on your central station I'll show you what that looks out uh, looks like 
So on your central station, you can 